welcome back to Players in Pyjamas, do Grim Fandango Remastered. Thank you for not saying all right. Hmm? All right. I knew you were thinking it. You were, you were actually, I, think, I know you were consciously making the decision not to say all right. Sure. Yeah, I could Well, let's look around it. here. It's been a while since I was in the land of living. Yeah, talk about that. that uh, talk that hot <laughs> piece of ass. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. <laughs> I think there's still more stuff you can do. <laughs> Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> yeah, and they all get it. they all react when you try to talk so, to so them. So you can't actually talk to them then? Or? No, I I think if you're invisible. Death, then they'll become a customer, but I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. <laughs> it's me. Death. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay? So what we want to do is look at this guy here. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. There. Oh, okay, that's it automatically. Um, I don't get to select my items. But this is why you have a scythe. That kind of gives a reason for it. Um, did I tell you this, that um, my family actually owns... <laughs> The, owns the patent for the scythe in America? Nice no. Bathroom. Yeah. No way. No, actually, it does. Or, um, well, my not my family, but my ancestors. So you know, like my ancestor had the the absolute first patent in the United States, like in the United States, not in America, mm. but like in the United States, and it was the scythe. All right. Well, no, I, I swear to God, uh, ask my dad. It sounds weird. I mean, it's such an old invention. Yeah, no, but like in America, like it was, that's what I've been told all the time. So I think they're pulling a leg. Ah, they might be. I have been told so much stuff over the last couple of years, you know, about my heritage. So, you know. There we go. Here's all some uh, foreshadowing stuff here. What was going on? Sorry, Bruno. Well, what's called? He he, he doesn't qualify for anything here. better, and he also didn't want anything. <laughs> no, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where so, I can what's called? He can't find him anything better, so you this is the like cheapest you, one that he could get, which is just like foam packing you in a coffin and I sending you to the afterlife. Oh, okay. I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working <laughs> for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! <laughs> now you're blaming the clients? I've had it Man. with you, Manny. If you haven't Client the shaming. premium before the next sales report yeah. comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! Get me no pictures of Spider-Man! <laughs> Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! I don't know, I've never... Again, not that I've had a lot of work experience so far, but... Uh, let's go. I've never see, like, seen an actual boss like that. That's screaming kind of... Like the, the mean boss. Well, yeah, it seems to be so common in media, but I've never come across it myself. Well, that's the thing. Like, you've only ever had a job in Europe and, well, I guess in Canada as well. And the thing is, we're also, we're not, we're not in like the, the business where we have those kind of bosses. You know, we don't have the, the ultra stressed, you know, why the hell am I here kind of bosses. Hey, you know, you we're, 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 we're artists, yeah, you know, we're, you we have bosses Domino who are also artists. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Ooh, burn, burn. Good thing that he doesn't have skin so he couldn't get this burn. That's true. I'd have more work to Scorch? do if you had more clients. Ouch. No, you, you have to have skin to get scorched. Right, here's also Where what I wanted to mention before. Oh, uh, did you forget what day it is today? It's oh, my man, birthday. Did I come in on Saturday again? <laughs> it's the day of the dead. Everybody's That's what I want to say before. The Every the, living, the game takes place over four like years. Yeah. But each year that you're playing, uh, why aren't you visiting your family today? It's actually yeah, the then the day of the dead. So, so it's I always an here. entire I'm year in between. No one right. there I want to see. And you don't it's kind of a bit of a cop out because it's to explain why there aren't as many characters here and why it's not so full. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Well, yeah, I mean it's fine. I like it when people then when they at least explain. Ah, here we go. Let's oh, let's talk to this scumbag. This son of a bitch. There he is. I'll look at him. What a dick. How is he sweating? Oh yeah, you're right. How is he doing that? 
I don't know. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man <laughs> in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Oh. Hey, Lou. Well, at least you're not hitting Lou? the bottle anymore. <laughs> hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. Why for trains. You got a nun? Well, you know. Hey, Safety Mary. first. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Uh... Choo choo, little buddy. Ah, uh, he's smiling. But he's also kind of like. How'd you score? <laughs> I got two I got nuns, actually. Two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny. <laughs> I heard it. I want to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no. Not <laughs> oh, nice. All over again. What happened? What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole <laughs> thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Ooh, oh. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let oh. me know, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid oh. of me. <laughs> you know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some <laughs> comic books in the desk. So, oh, sweet. Which kind? I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it <laughs> after I get promoted out and you're still here. Oh, this is so good. I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. <laughs> I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Well, see you in limbo. But yeah, oh, that's this great. Uh, such, should uh, this such a douchebag. Yeah. Oh, right, actually, after all that, I think I need a drink. <laughs> you need a drink? Yeah, well, Manny needs one. Okay. Let's see here. That's some premium looking scotch. Little that's scotch. a Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium <laughs> oh tastes like. I'm gonna ignore that and still take a drink. <laughs> I'm more of a bourbon man myself. <laughs> I, you know, well, for that one, I need another one. <laughs> you can't really then get drunk, can you? No, 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 there's no... Again, that's the thing with adventure. There's not like meters and no stuff. messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Could you take a message out of there? Let's see. He's got a lock on it. Oh, can't dick. believe he did <laughs> Yep. Uh, can I check out his computer? Check his Facebook profile? Hey, Dom. <laughs> What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. <laughs> Manny sucks, 96. <laughs> hey, Dom. Wow. Get away from... Ah, well. Yeah, nothing we can do in here right now. I just wanted to show off that son of a... Man, it's weird running. All right. Well, let's see here now. Well, we want to try to get a look at how uh, to get those uh, premium uh, sales. So let's see here now. If I remember correctly. Right. So we should uh, go down this way somewhere. Right, right. We want to go down here. Because all those, uh, this is some kind of like tube thing going on. And, uh, tube thing? Oh, there we go. What the hell is that? It's another you demon like Lada's. You suits and your nose holes <laughs> way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> Wow, those polygons. <laughs> yeah. But again, that's what makes this game kind of cool, too. Yeah. Because the whole um, part of the inspiration for the game came from the primitive graphics at the time. Apparently Tim Schafer looked at these and then looked at um, the whole design of these kinds of uh, skulls in the Mexican folklore and like uh, culture. Yeah. And thought, you know what? These kind of look like low-poly models. Oh, right, cool. 
see here. All right, well, before you grab that fire Wait. extinguisher, which you should fire not be touching. It says do not touch, Chris. I'm not going to pick it up. Okay, good, because you shouldn't. I won't. Because it's a fire hazard if you pick it up and um, do something with it. Yeah, I'm just going to look over here instead. We're going to we're gonna end the episode. Yep. See you guys next time while we inspect this weird machine. Yep. Ooh. Ooh.